The gear is packed, and in just a few hours, this group of First Nations firefighters will be heading to BC. We're, there are some places that we're going to be going to have seen 150 milliliters in 24 hours, okay? So They're members of Yukon First Nations Wildfire, a contract service based in the territory. A 16-person flood response crew will be helping with the historic flooding in BC. It really excites me to go down with uh, such a positive group. Tanner Borsa is from the Little Salmon Carmack's First Nation. He will be deployed in Kamloops. He says he's looking forward to helping Yukon's southern neighbor. It's really a chance for everyone to get that experience and, and show what our company is capable of doing. Okay, so no looking at the camera. <laughs> Yukon First Nations wildfire are being sent into areas like Nanaimo, Kamloops and Vancouver for two weeks. They'll be working with BC First Nations fire services on the ground, providing help with recovery and restoration. Borsa says he'll be primarily doing jobs like sandbagging and protecting structures, but he's up for anything. It could be also or moving livestock to a safer environment pretty much anything that the communities need. This summer, the organization helped with major flooding in Yukon's Southern Lakes region. Everyone's eager to, to help, I think, and they're looking forward to the opportunity. Jesse yeah. Latoski is a manager with the organization. He says the experience this summer will help them while they're in BC. There are a lot of transferable skills as it is. It falls under the banner of emergency management. So the command structures will be similar to, to a fire. The deployment will head to BC Friday morning. Everyone knows how to hold themselves and I, I feel real confident with the group we have down there. Sarah Connors, APTN National News, Whitehorse.